What up, though? Ledge here. Chill with me. Now, battle rap has taken over, man. It's really become a dominant uh, source of entertainment for a lot of people, men and women alike. And we all know, man, uh, primarily before, you know, people start having their own streaming outlets as far as other places to, to look forward to watching it. YouTube was one of the main, uh, probably the, the, the main source. And uh, we all know what was like the biggest thing on YouTube, right? Maybe you don't. I mean, obviously King of the Dot did their numbers. And, uh, you know, RBE, they've been doing theirs over the past few years. But, you know, the biggest, the one with the most viewers is not URL. That's right. Uh... So, yeah, I wanted to, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to show some love to a different country, man, because the numbers they put up are outrageous. If you go look at some of their battles, it was like, I think his name was A Class, A Class, or Atlas. I believe it was A Class versus Looney. Just look at the amount of people, the sea of people that was at those, those battles, the amount of comments, and all that good stuff, man. And uh, my question is because I've, you know, talk to people kind of behind the scenes. A few people over there, not anybody like super major. But a lot of these guys actually can battle in English as well. Looney is one of them. I remember he battled Mark Grice. Uh, he battled him in Engl uh, English. He battled Disaster. That was in English. Um, and he also, you know, he he was set up to battle Oxymiron, which would have been a mega battle uh, nationally. That would have been in English. I was hearing. And I was just wondering, like, how many of those those guys could cross over? Um, or women, too, because they got women battle rappers over there, too. I was wondering how many of them could cross over, what league would make sense for them to battle on, and what would be the impact of that? Because we always talk about, oh, this is good for battle rap. This is impactful. But what are you saying about uh, these Filipino stars who really got millions of subscribers and followers? That's real impact if they can cross over to the to the states, or even if they go to King of the Dot somewhere in Canada in a year or two and show what they're really worth and drive the market. Uh, will we want to see that? Are you guys for that? Do you even care? Do like, or are you, we just so focused on URL and um, the big three? <clears throat> and that's and that's you know I'm I grew up on URL like that's gonna forever be number one in my heart you know what I'm saying but I y'all know my appreciation for all all leagues when it comes to battle rap because this is a tough it's a tough gig and ain't easy so just want y'all thoughts on that let me know how y'all feel about them crossing over what league makes sense and all that good stuff right. I'm looking forward to it. I just want to see um, maybe even them stay abroad. It doesn't have to be in the States. It can be premier battles. One of this, you know, I asked Briggs before, have you ever reached out to other countries? You know what I'm saying? Like New Zealand got the uh, one outs and things like that. Like, you know, test it. Test it out. Let's see what it do, man. Let's have some international crossover. See how see how that works out. See what it can do for battle rap as far as spot sponsorship deals, marketing, and all that good stuff. Man, I want to. I, I don't know. I'll be having thoughts to see where this go beyond where it's at right now. So, y'all, let me know in the comments. Is that a good idea? And if so, if you guys, uh, if there's any people who are familiar with Flip Top much more than I am, tell me who are the people that that speak uh, that battle rap in English from time to time, and which one of those guys could get busy over here, you know what I'm saying, or vice versa, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm looking forward to that, alright, I'm gone, and as always, keep it battle rap, love.